Hi guys, I am Marielle, and for today I'm going to be teaching you another creative sequence that I was working on last week, so hopefully it's still fresh in my mind. Uh, I am a little bit under the weather, so hopefully you can still hear my voice okay. There is a kid's school next door, so you might hear some kids screaming and shouting in between. Um, as usual, we're going to come into this as if we've already done our warm-up. So if you want to pause the video and just make your way through a few uh, Surya A's and B's, always making sure that you start maybe with a bit of meditation, taking a moment to check in with yourself, check in with your body, connect with your breath. And when you are ready, we will meet in downward facing dog. So finding your downward facing dog, checking in with your alignment, so making sure that the feet are hip distance, hands shoulder distance, Starting to ground through the knuckles, drawing the forearms towards one another, allowing for that external rotation of the shoulders. Keep pushing into the palms as the shoulders slide away from the ears. Lengthen through the tailbone, draw the heels down. On your next inhale, you're going to reach the right leg high to the sky. Find length through that right foot as you exhale. Take that right foot in between your hands, lower the back knee down, release your toes, and sweep your arms up towards the sky. Find your Anjanyasana drawing the feet towards one another, squaring off the hips. You're scooping your hips forward and down as you lengthen through the fingertips. As you exhale, plant your hands, tuck your back toes under, find your standing splits. Reach that left leg high, allow your head and neck to fold, relaxing over that right leg. And then step that left leg behind your right foot and take a forward fold. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Once again, allowing the head and neck to relax on your inhale. Sweep the arms all the way up. Now as you come up, gentle bend of the right knee. Grab onto that left wrist and give yourself a nice little side stretch, allowing yourself to lengthen through the left side of the body. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, fold back down to the ground. We're going to plant the hands. Take that left foot back behind you, right foot to meet it. Find a strong plank. So pushing the ground away, doming the upper back, engaging the core. Gaze towards the front of the mat as you exhale, lower your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Keeping the elbows in, you're going to inhale, slide forward into your low cobra, release the back toes. As you exhale, tuck the toes, bring your hips to your heels, lengthen out through the fingertips, find your downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, reach the left leg, reaches high, lengthen through the left toes. As you exhale, plant that left foot between your hands, drop the back knee, release your toes and sweep your arms up on Janyasana. Keep sinking the hips down as you draw that left hip back, right hip forward, and find length through the fingertips, inhale. As you exhale, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, find your standing splits, release the head and neck. We're going to take the right foot behind the left foot this time. Find your forward fold, release the head and neck. As you inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Start to bend that left knee. You can even take the right foot out a little bit further if you want, grabbing onto the right wrist and a gentle tug over towards the left hand side. Getting a nice stretch through the right side of your body, inhale. As you exhale, find your forward fold. Head and neck again, release. Now taking that right foot back, left foot to meet, find your plank pose. Nice strong plank pose, even though your feet are apart, see so if you can squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Engage the core, ribs and navel in. Round through the upper back, take an inhale. As you exhale, knees, chest, chin, come down. Slide forward into your low cobra, the chest lifts. Tuck the toes, hips to heels. Exhale, lengthen through the fingertips, find your downward facing dog. Breathe where you are. We're gonna start moving through our flow. So as you inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Exhale that right knee to your right elbow, lift it as high as you can get it. Maybe tap the top of that right arm. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale your knee to your nose. Can you draw that knee in and maybe between your arms? Inhale it up and back. Exhale that right knee across the body and hold here. We're going to drop the back heel, straighten that right leg, reach the left arm up towards the sky. Now your inhale is going to push your hips higher. Your exhale is actually going to lower you all the way down to the ground. You're going to take both of your hands between your legs and forward fold. As you inhale, come back up, plant that right hand, push yourself back into your fallen triangle so the left arm goes up. 
As you exhale, left hand comes down, right leg reaches high to the sky. Exhale that right foot in between your hands, find your runner's lunge. So squaring off in the hips, legs are nice and strong. See if you can keep this stance, but start to twist through the midline as your right arm goes up towards the sky. Now grounding through your feet, so strong legs, you're going to start to float that left hand off of the ground, lift yourself up into your twist. Can you sink a little bit lower? Draw that right hip back, left hip forward. And as you inhale, find your crescent lunge. Gaze is straight ahead, legs are strong. Inhale, find length through the fingertips as you exhale, open up, warrior two. Front heel is in line with the back arch. Keep sinking into your warrior two. Your knees always fall in the direction of your toes. You're pushing into the outer edge of that back foot. Arms are straight. Flip that front palm, reverse your warrior, inhale. As you exhale, take that right hand on the inside of your right foot. Left arm's gonna sweep up and across. Option here to bring the right forearm to your thigh. If putting your hand down is a bit too deep of a stretch, you can always be here. Now, be mindful of your hips. So drawing that right hip in and seeing if you can lower the hips down so you get a nice straight line from the left fingertips to the edge of that left foot. Now we're gonna lower both of our hands on the inside of your right foot. Sink your hips for a moment, so enjoy a nice lizard pose, a nice little stretch. Then come back, strengthen out through the legs. Take the right hand underneath your right leg. Lower your body down a little bit, shift your weight into your feet, and allow your arms to come up like airplanes holding here for three. And for two. And for one. Now, options. For those of you that like a bit of a challenge, you can keep your hand where it is, See if you can move through Kundinyasana. So straightening that leg out and then shifting back through your vinyasa. Otherwise, from your hand on the inside, you're going to take it back on the outside. Step that right foot back. Move through your flow. So I'm going to use chest chin or chaturanga. Inhaling. Exhaling back. Downward facing dog. It's a tough one. I'm already sweating. We're going to inhale. Reach that left leg high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Can you reach it a little higher? Tap. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep reaching the heel and knee up. Can you draw the knee between the arms? Inhale, it up and back. Exhale, that knee across the body to your right elbow. Drop the back heel. Straighten that left leg. Right arm is going to reach up. Fall in triangle. As you inhale, push a little higher. As you exhale, we're going to come all the way down to the floor. Take both of your arms between your legs. Enjoy a bit of a forward fold. As you inhale, roll back. Plant that left hand. Push your hips up, right arm goes up. Exhale, right hand down. Left foot reaches up and back. Exhale that left foot between your hands. Find your runner's lunge. Square off the hips. Legs are strong. Keeping that stance, we're gonna take the left arm up. Find your twist. Getting strong in the legs, you're gonna start to float the right hand up. Find your twist. Can you sink a little bit lower? As you inhale, crescent lunge. Keep drawing that left hip back, right hip forward. Back leg is straight, back heel is reaching high. Inhale here. As you exhale, warrior two. So front heel is in line with the back arch. Front knees bending to a 90 degree bend. Sink in the hips, arms are strong. Flip that front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel. The hands. Where are we going with this one? Uh, oh my god, sorry, left hand. This is what it is when you're sick. Left hand on the inside of that left foot. Drop the back heel. Reach that right arm towards the front. Find your extended side angle. Again, on this side, if you want to take your forearm to the thigh, you can reach that right arm across. Otherwise, by pushing that left hip in, lowering your hips down, keep lengthening through the right arm. Take an inhale. As you exhale, both hands come down. Back heel lifts up, so we're finding our lizard lunge. Sink the hips a little bit lower. Find a bit of space here. Then make the legs nice and strong. Take that left arm underneath that left leg. Lower your upper body a little bit and see if you can float your arms off the ground for three. And two. And one, bring the hands back. Once again, you have the option to move through Kundinyasana, straighten the leg, and then coming back. Or, if your hand is on the inside, bringing it back on the outside, stepping that left foot back, 
moving through your fluff, high to low. Inhaling and exhaling back. Downward facing dog. Now breathe. Finding your breath. Finding your energy. We just have one more round to do, but it's a long one. So taking one more deep breath where you are. We're going to inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale right knee to right elbow. Inhale it up and back. Exhale knee to nose. Inhale it up and back. Exhale that knee across your body. Once again, same process. Drop the back heel. Straighten the leg. Lift that left arm. Inhale, push a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Forward fold, release between your legs. On your next inhale, lift up, plant the hand, push the hips up, left arm reaches, exhale that left hand down, reach the right leg up and back. This time bend the knee, open up the hip, and as softly as you can, start to take that right leg behind you. Find your flip dog, your wild thing. Now keeping that right leg as soft as you can, can you slowly start to lift it up and then step it to the front of the mat? If that's really hard, you can always drop the right hand as you're coming forward. But try to keep the strength in your legs. Keep drawing that knee in and step it between your hands. Once again, keeping those hips squared, we're going to reach the right arm up. As you exhale, sink the hips. As you inhale, lift yourself up into your twist. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, find your crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Now, one of my favorite poses, but I know it's a love-hate pose, Skandasana. You're going to straighten that right leg. Point the left toes out, bend through that left knee, come all the way down to the ground. If your hands need to come on the ground or if that back heel is lifting, that's totally fine. Otherwise, hands are in prayer. Left hand's going to come down, right arm reaches up as you inhale. Exhale, frame the back foot. So you're going to release that back knee. Release the toes, sweep the arms up, find your anjanyasana. Sink the hips while you lengthen through the fingertips. As you exhale, bring your hands into heart center. You're going to twist to the left, right elbow across that left knee. Tuck the back toes under as you inhale. Lift that right knee up off of the ground, find your twist. Making sure you're not collapsing your upper body over that left thigh. Take your gaze over your left shoulder, take an inhale here. As you exhale, bring your gaze down. Step the right foot to meet the left and find your twisted chair. Option here. To lower your hands and if you practice, work your way into side crow. Coming into any variation that you might be working on. And then make your way back into chair pose. Take the arms behind your back and release the fingers. Open up the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Now as you inhale, bend your knees. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then the knees, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Then the knees, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Release the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump through your vinyasa, high to low. Inhale, exhale back, downward facing. We're going to keep with the right leg, so reach that right leg high. Exhale, right foot between your hands. Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, sink the hips a little lower. Inhale, come up to your twist. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, find your crescent lunge. As you exhale, it's a bit of a wonky transition, but we're going to open up where you're to the front of the mat. So wiggling your feet around, bending that left knee, back uh, heel goes down. Lengthen through the fingertips. Straighten that left leg. Flip the front palm. Reverse Trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale. Find Trikonasana. So hover the left hand off of that left shin. Draw that left hip in as you open up through the right shoulder. If it feels okay on the head and neck, your gaze is going to go up towards your right fingertip. Take a deep inhale here as you exhale. Gaze goes down. Bend through that left knee. Grab a block if you have or need one. Find your half moon. So stacking that right hip over the left. Flexing the back foot. Maybe working on taking your gaze up. Maybe working on covering that hand off the ground. 
Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, standing splits. Release over that left leg, keep reaching that right leg high. Head and neck, relax. Woo! Now, option here to stay in your fold, or for those who want to work on their handstand, taking that left foot back a little bit and working on those bunny hops. So that standing leg is gonna put that knee is gonna bend. You want that foot roughly under your hip, your shoulders are under your wrist, or above your wrist, and kick up. Work on finding your balance. One more time. And then working through your vinyasa. Inhale, exhale back. Downward facing dog. Now I know what my students felt like in class last week because I always joked that whether it's good news or bad news, there's still one more side to go. And it feels pretty intense, but we'll do the one more side. So find your down dog. As you inhale, reach that left leg high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale that knee across your body. Drop the back heel, straighten that leg. Reach your right arm up, hips go high. As you exhale, lower them down. Take your arms between your legs, fold. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Plant that left hand. Push the hips high, right arm reaches. As you exhale, right hand comes down. Left leg reaches up and back. This time we're gonna bend the knee, open up the hip, and as softly as you can, transition into your wild thing. Lift your dog. Left arm reaches as slowly as you can. Start to take that left leg up and forward. Now on your next inhale, squaring off the hips, you're gonna reach that left arm up. Keep sinking the hips down, reach the arms up, find your twist. Exhale, sink a little lower as you inhale, both arms come up. As you exhale, find your warrior two, drop the back heel. Both arms go straight. Moving through skandasana, straighten that left knee. Turn the right toes out. Make your way down, Ooh, beautiful, down to the floor. Find your surfer's lunge. So again, if your hands come on the floor, if that heel lifts up, that's totally fine. Hands in prayer, right hand comes down, left arm reaches up, inhale. As you exhale, frame the right foot to the back of the mat. Drop the left knee, release the toes, sweep the arms up, Anjaniyasana. Now keep scooping those hips forward and down, but lengthening through the fingertips, inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands into prayer, twist, left elbow across that right knee. Tuck the back toes, and as you inhale, lift that back knee up off the ground. Gaze goes up, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the gaze down, step, left foot to meet right. Sink the hips a little lower, squaring the knees off. Use that elbow to twist a little deeper and option to bring the hands down. Find your side crow. Any variation of side crow. Otherwise, stay in your twist. And on the next inhale, we'll come back through Utkatasana. Exhale the hands back, interlace the fingers. Open up the chest. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. One more time, bend the knees, sink the hips, inhale. Exhale, fold. Release the arms. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, step or jump through your vinyasa, high to low. Inhaling forward and up. Exhaling back. Sticking with the left side, left leg reaches high. Exhale, that left foot between your hands. Inhale, the left arm reaches. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, lift and find your twist. Exhale, sink. Inhale, both arms come up, crescent lunge. As you exhale, warrior two to the front of the mat. Flip that front palm, reverse trikonasana. Exhale, find your triangle pose, trikonasana. Again, right hand is floating over the right shin. Opening up through the left shoulders, you draw the right hip in. Maybe the gaze goes up. Inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze down, bend that right knee. Grab onto the floor with the right hand, maybe grabbing a block. Flex the left foot. Reach that left arm up. Maybe your gaze goes up. Maybe, once the tough side, you find your balance. 
for three, for two. Find your standing splits. Release the head and neck. Lift the left leg high. Maybe grab on with one hand to your ankle, maybe both. Maybe you plant your hands and work on those bunny hops to handstand. Stepping that right foot back, bending that right knee, lifting that left leg, and hop up. Coming right again, lifting up. And when you're ready, moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, exhale. Ah. Lower the knees down. Bring the hips to your heels. Release your head. Find your breath. Allow everything to slow down. And join me for a cool down video after this.